Hi everyone, we're gonna be talking about TLSOs a little bit more today. One of the questions we have is what is TLSO used for? And there's two basic avenues you could go down here if you want to keep it really simple. A TLSO is oftentimes used for a serious injury to the spine that can be treated conservatively, okay? So that could be a compression fracture, that could be a pedicle fracture, that could be all, all these different kinds, sometimes even a burst fracture, okay, depending on the doctor and the patient. So oftentimes they're used for fractures. Now we're talking about TLSOs that look like the, the turtle shell, okay? So the turtle shell braces are often TLSOs. I'm sure there's an example out there that would prove me wrong, but usually that's what you're dealing with. It's a long brace that comes about... Uh, 20 millimeters distal to the sternal notch and basically ends right above your lap at your symphysis pubis or just slightly above that. So basically a, a full body brace that doesn't include the neck, that's a TLSO. That can be used for all these different kinds of fractures or serious injuries. One of the reasons that insurance will cover one of those is the following verbiage and that is to restrict mobility of the spine in order to promote healing and to reduce pain, okay? So that's a TLSO for fracture reasons or serious reasons, okay? It can be a custom one and or it can be an off-the-shelf one. I fit an off-the-shelf one today to someone in the ER and because time was of the essence and we had to go off the shelf with a TLSO. Otherwise, that person was going to just leave without anything. That was their that was their, their path they were choosing. So anyhow, that's for serious injuries. There's a whole different kind of TLSO, okay? And that is for a scoliosis brace. Scoliosis TLSOs are different. You don't assume that that person has a fracture. They walk into your office as an outpatient. Usually you don't walk in, you don't usually see them in the hospital to do these kinds of things. So. Scoliosis TLSO is different. You're trying to unbend the spine, if you will, with a scoliosis TLSO. And one of the sites that I would actually recommend that you check out if you have some time, if you want to learn more about scoliosis TLSOs and studies that are there is the SRS, the Scoliosis Research Society, a well-known group, okay? <laughs> and the scoliosis TLSOs can help to, like we said, correct the spine and there's pads that are added into it to hold that correction, okay? And some of the good parts about that are that you can add or subtract to those kinds of braces in a lot of different ways. That can be the measure of treatment, the style of treatment that is used for someone who has scoliosis that's in a conservative realm, we'll say, or it can be used to kind of, if someone's destined, okay, to have surgery, we hope they don't necessarily have to do that, but a lot of times there's some good surgeons out there, okay, that can do the scoliosis procedures. And what the TLSO brace would do is hold off that time that the person would potentially need to have the surgery so it lets their spine grow more so that their spine isn't necessarily fused at a certain height if you will now there's there's rods that can be made to kind of extend out but that's not necessarily my expertise but i can just tell you that there's two different kinds of tlsos one is generally for serious injuries and that can be a bivalve tlso meaning it's two shells that come together or it can be uh, an anterior opening TLSO, okay, for scoliosis. I prefer that style instead of locking someone in from behind with a posterior opening TLSO. Not personally my favorite style. But anyhow, I hope that information helped you. Please feel free to call us with any questions or concerns you might have on TLSO braces. If uh, you need more information, our office can help you with that. Good luck, take care, and thanks for watching.